That's okay, we'll let him get some exercise in the wind. Okay, this is uh, our normal training field, and as you hear, Piper's quite excited. Oh, this is kind of cool, Sue. This is a, a tarantula den. This is one of our uh, little Utah tarantulas that we have here. Kind of dug that hole. And so if you go down about uh, six or seven inches down in there, you'll have a, a live tarantula down there. Anyway. Here's our little boy. And what we're doing today is uh, just gonna let him fly and get some exercise and start to let him see things that he would like to hunt and so off in the distance I have uh, what's called a, a bird launcher and with a live pigeon uh, the odds of him actually catching the pigeon are pretty low but nevertheless we do need to flush things for him and and you have to understand he is an apex predator so if he does catch the pigeon he will kill it and he will get his reward because that's that's what they do in their life is they they hunt other birds and uh, in fact, I think he's looking right now for other birds and things, that he, small birds that he thinks he can catch. And all the sounds that he makes, um, this is a young falcon and young falcons are just noisy. They just are. And, and so he gets pretty vocal about, about everything. And you're just gonna pull up a foot, you silly thing. You're just going to pull my foot and fluff out and relax, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you need to go fly and not just sit here and look pretty. You need to go fly. So let's go let you fly. You're being a lazy boy. Okay, well here's Piper, he's got his kill, and uh, you know I have to explain this over and over and over again to folks. These are apex predators. This is exactly how they make their living. Whether uh, this falcon is with me or just all by itself, in fact on our way out here there's a beautiful uh, young peregrine falcon about a mile down the road on, on a and it's caught its breakfast, which was a bird as well. Uh, and so this is, this is what they do. And you have to respect that. And, and for their physical and mental health, you have to let them fly and you have to let them hunt. That is, that is just part of, part of the process. And 
and uh, why, don't you, why don't you come over this way, Sue, and we'll let's see what Piper's doing. Now, for Piper, this is a great this is a great breakfast. You know, he's uh, already broken in. And he's starting to have a little food, and he's very very proud of himself. You know, he he caught a pigeon virtually the same size that he is. Um, and as I said before, um, the only reason that pigeon was caught by Piper is the pigeon chickened out. If the pigeon would have flown, it would have easily outflown him. But the pigeon uh, ba basically gave up uh, and, and made, made mistakes, and this is why Piper caught him. But we can't blame Piper for that. And we definitely have to reward him for being a good boy and doing what he's supposed to do. And so I'm going to move in and see if I can step him off his pigeon onto his normal breakfast. And the nice thing about the pigeon that he's caught is we'll take that pigeon back to our rescue center. And, and that'll be a very, very good food source for one of our injured birds of prey that, uh, that we're nursing back to health. So... So Piper has actually provided breakfast for somebody else. Huh, Piper? You're such a good little boy. You got yourself a pigeon. And you're having a good breakfast, aren't you, sweetie? <coughs> you are. We're having a very good breakfast. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Are you having a really good breakfast? Yes, you are. I think this is your very, very first pigeon. Can I give this to you? Can I give this to you? There's my Piper. There's my good boy. I'm sorry, you saw that, huh? You saw that. Yes, you did. Your eyesight's so good, kiddo. You weren't supposed to see that. You're supposed to be so busy eating your mouse that you didn't see, you weren't supposed to see that pigeon get moved. Okay. Here's my baby. Here's my Piper. Now, compared to a lot of the other falcons, again, very high strung, very temperamental, uh, heavily food motivated. Um, this falcon would, would not hesitate for a second to bite me or to foot me or to throw tantrums or, or those kinds of things. And, and so we have to be uh, you know, nice and gentle and slow and positive and to uh, keep him from getting upset. There's my boy. That was good. You did a great job, Piper. You did a really, really, yes you did. You did a really good job. Now let's see. We'll go ahead and let you have the mouse foot. There we go. I know. my boy. Such a good boy. Well, that was your very first pigeon you ever caught. Congratulations. It was a dumb pigeon. It did a really dumb thing. That's the only reason you caught it, but it, you did. You caught a pigeon. Isn't that what predators are supposed to do? That is what predators are supposed to do. Take out the sick the weak the sick the weak and the dumb and this pigeon would would classify in that category as doing a really dumb thing 
said all that pigeon had to do was fly and if the pigeon would have flown well there would be no way for him to catch it but that's okay that just made for a very very good exciting training lesson for you yet yeah, you were up a good good hundred feet you actually made a good dive toward the pigeon you didn't hit it you scared it but you didn't hit it yes you scared the pigeon but you didn't hit it but that's okay you're still learning you are you're still learning your job you're still learning how to be a falcon Where's the rest of my breakfast? You ate it all. You can see this all gone. It's all gone, sweetheart. There's my boy. I know. So there's got to be more. There's got to be more. Come on up. Come on up. He was sure he caught something bigger than that. I know. For a change, it's not always easy for you either. Oh, you always not. make it look so easy, and I can never do it. There's my baby. Well, again, hi, this is a prairie falcon. This is not an easy bird. You know, this this is a, a bird that uh, takes a, a great deal of patience and persistence, and you have to make sure that they that they don't beat you when it comes to uh, some of the basic training methods. Oh, I know, Piper. But it's all gone.